Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's have a look uh, a little bit more detail about what functions actually are. Okay, so we looked at a definition uh, in the last one. If you looked at the difference between relations and videos, or uh, <laughs> videos, relations and functions, we looked at how uh, uh, relation is just a relationship between any two numbers, right? And a function is specifically um, a special type of relation, okay? And I, I like to call it a well-behaved relation, but the actual definition would be that for every value in the domain, we'll deal with that word in a sec, every value in the domain has only, has only one value in the range okay now uh, in order to understand that you need to know first of all what domain and range are okay so let's quickly write down domain and range and I will show you exactly what they refer to okay so the domain and the range uh, if you remember domain and range you may remember that domain refers to all the possible x values okay in a given function and similarly all the possible y values within that same function okay now let's look at an xy axis that's the x axis that's the y axis right if we look at one of the most basic functions it's called a linear function we look at this okay linear function because it plots as a line now you can see that every x value has a y value so this point right here would be two zero if you looked at another point right here boom it only uh, let's say three one okay so <clears throat> every x value has only one y value that is what we call uh, a function now the domain here would be all the possible x's that occur and the range would be all the possible y values that occur so in a linear function normally we have X is an element of all real numbers. The range Y is an element of all real numbers. This is called set notation, okay? What this basically means is that X is any real number, which means any number, basically, okay? We're not talking about unreal numbers or imaginary numbers. That's definitely higher level mathematics. So when we write down real numbers, which is, the symbol is two lines and then an R, okay? And this symbol means element of okay that's what we call uh, set notation but regardless that is what domain and range are okay now in order to be a function remember that we referred to what we called the vertical line test right the vertical line test which means that if you can draw a vertical line and it only touches your function once or your line once or whatever it is your graph once this uh, identifies the function okay it identifies uh, that your relation is indeed a function okay now let's look a little bit further uh, into what these are uh, or sorry a little bit more into functions now we have two variables we have the x and we have the y right so one of them is dependent on other on, on the other so we have what we call a dependent variable dependent variable and then we have what we call an independent variable okay in dependent variable So what we're looking at um, is a specific situation. Let's look at one of the most basic uh, graphs where we have distance is equal to speed times time. Okay. <clears throat> so what will go on these axes, do you think? Where does distance go? Where does time go? What's speed involved? Well, the distance usually goes up here and time always goes on the x-axis, okay? Time is always on the x-axis. Now, I'm going to ask you a simple question. What depends on what here? Does distance depend on time? Or does time depend on distance? If you gave it a bit of thought, hope you'd understand that 
your distance is determined by how how long you drive for or how long you walk for or how long you ride for okay so the distance is dependent on the time which means that the distance is on the y-axis it's dependent so we're gonna look at the y-axis as being the dependent variable and the x-axis as being the independent variable and the one thing that you will know for certain is that time is always the independent variable because essentially if you thought about it everything depends on time okay so two more terms that we need to understand here uh let's look at even more terms yay more terms Woo um what we're gonna look at are special types of functions now okay because look my distance i can go like this my time at time zero i have zero distance well I've gone, I'm going faster, faster, faster. Oh, now I stop. Maybe I can come back now. Maybe I'm going back home. So this could be distance from home. Notice that this passes the vertical line test all the time. But what about a horizontal line test? Notice that I crossed twice. Okay. So a horizontal line test is used to determine if we have what we call a one to one function. Okay. Which means that again it's a little more uh specific okay uh not only does every x value have to have only one y value every y value now is only allowed to have one x value okay so um let's call this let's say let's say it has to pass the horizontal line test okay which is like the vertical line test but it's a horizontal line test and that just describes a one-to-one -one function okay let's see if we got anything else here uh i think that should probably cover this up folks uh so very important that you understand domain and range okay very important that you can pick out the dependent and independent variable in this given situation and that you understand the difference between the vertical line test and the horizontal line test okay a brief definition of functions um, hopefully it will help you out in understanding the first chapter of math 12 where we start dealing with uh, all the various types of functions and their transformations